Hi everybody, hope you're healthy and doing well in your community. This week's video is spring summer 2020 makeup from the drugstore. It is on the cheap and we are going to tackle some really nice spring looks and colors with makeup that is really affordable and a place where you can go and purchase. Probably ought to mention the hair got highlighted. Salons here in Texas have reopened as of last weekend. Very strict protocols in place in terms of sanitation, sterilization, temperature checks, masks, all of that but we were able to get the job done and get some highlights in there. Um, so that way this makeup will really accompany the whole, the whole look. We're gonna start with NYX Shine Killer. A great way to kill the shine on your face before you apply foundation. My foundation choice is a matte one, so that's why I wanna be shine free. Next up is the foundation. L'Oreal Paris 24 Hour Foundation Pro Matte Infallible in number 108, Caramel Beige. I'll use a foundation brush to apply. The only tricky part is purchasing foundation in a drugstore, you can't do a try on, so you kind of have to guess and hold the color up to your arms, your neck, and everywhere else to try to get a close match. My foundations for my face will always come out a little more yellow just because I have redness in my face, so I'm trying to match my chest. When I complete the whole look and pull out, you're gonna see how it all pulls together. Right now, it's probably gonna look a little yellow. See? I also go slightly darker on my face. Oftentimes, I self-tan, so the rest of me is a little bit darker and I don't want my face to be a white head on a tan body. It may seem weird at first, but trust me, if you can see, it all blends in and is one color. All right, foundation is done. Um, I did not find a really good eyelid primer, and so I decided, and I do this a lot, I use my um, concealer as an eyelid primer, and so my concealer of choice is L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer in number 365. And I will take just a tiny bit on a brush and apply that to my lid. So now it's time to define the eyebrows. And what I like to use for that is a product by NYX. It's called Fill and Fluff. Amazing fluffing brush, eyebrow pencil. I went with these two colors, espresso and chocolate, um, because I kind of like that balayage look for the eyebrow. I'm gonna start with the lighter one as I tear into it. That's the little brush side, and then the twist up pencil. and just try to mimic the hair-like strokes that you already have. And now I'm gonna go in with the slightly darker one and just intersperse some strokes. And then do a few along the bottom where I really want a little bit more of a stronger line. Okay, soften. Good, I like color combining eyebrow pencils. I just think it's nice to get the right shade for you. And now it's eyeshadow time, and my choice is by Maybelline. It is the City Mini Palette, mostly matte shades, except for one little glitter, if you wanna play around with that on your lid or inner corner. But for the most part, I think that these light mauves and the plums um, are just great for most skin tone. So I'm gonna start with this light to medium shade on my lid. Now I'll block it in with this darker plum. Kind of a plummy brown.
So I'm going to take this top color here, this sort of yellowy peachy color with a blending brush and I'm just going to smooth out this little top line right here and blend. And this is a nice light spring makeup application. And now for the brow bone highlight, obviously the lightest shade here to the left. And so you're probably looking at that gold sparkle and thinking, well, how on earth would I wear that? What would I do? You can do a little hit on the inner corner of your eye with that, like so, for a little pop of shimmer. And that's it. It just adds a little kick of glitter on the inner corner, brightens up the inner corner of the eye, but isn't overly in your face. Pencil time. So I'm going to do a product by Almay. It's called Top of the Line. I'm going to use this as a liner that's gonna go in my upper lash line to really block in and define those lashes. And that looks like this. You're running it underneath your lashes and you're just smudging in that upper lash line for definition. And it does glide on pretty well. And the purpose of going underneath is that you don't ruin and block off this nice eyeshadow that you've built on your lid. This helps to create a nice open eye. You can do a little flick out here in the outer corner if you want, like so. Next side. And see what that did? That blocked in a nice upper lash line, made that look thicker, opened up the eye, and it keeps everything up, which is something that we are trying to do. Okay, so it's time for mascara, and the one that I chose is by CoverGirl. It is Exhibitionist Mascara in Very Black. I have never used this one before, so I'm excited to try it out and see how it works. Upper lash line only. I'm gonna do two coats. In all honesty, okay, not so great. I've definitely used better drugstore mascaras before. Most of them by L'Oreal. I mean, it's not bad. It just takes a while to build. Good thing I'm gonna be doing magnetic lashes. You knew that was coming, didn't you? All right, let these babies dry so we can move on to the next thing. It is time for the Ardell Magnetic Accents, those little outer wing eyelashes that I absolutely love to wear. And here's how I do it. I will take my lash and I will gently rest it on my upper lash line like so. Don't move. And then I hold on to it and I bring the lower lash line right underneath to meet it. That I do. Yep. Next. Rest the upper. Get the lower. Hold on tight. And have a meet up. Okay, and once you have your lashes on, what I like to do is take a little bit of that eyeliner that we used in the rim and just fill in a little bit here on the inner corner just to match the thickness of the eyelash, the magnetic eyelash. And that way it makes it look all tied together. Eye look is done, let's move on to concealer. Get rid of what's going on south. L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. So I just do one little touch right here, 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 and there. And use a concealer brush to blend it out. I always prefer starting off with a lighter amount. You can always build if you need it. And you'll notice I put nothing on the lower lid. Everything stayed up. I always get little indentations right here from wearing glasses 
So I'll take my concealer and apply it there too. Cover any spots that you got. And you are ready for the next step, and that is powder. HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder, but I do like NYX for that. And if you don't have these at home, these are the Beauty 360 pads for applying um, powder. The, uh, the powder in white is just mattifying. Next up, I found, where to go? Here it is. A bronzer by NYX, matte bronzer. Looks like so. Look like a nice color. I have a relatively larger brush for bronzing product. Let's give it a whirl. Good, it has a nice warming effect. Totally complements the eye color too. Just run it up in the hairline, on the chin. Gives you a nice warm sun-kissed kind of a look. I brought a, I bought a blush color. I'm not sure if I even need it. This one is L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in Warm Color is Subtle Sable. Eh, let's add a little bit anyway, just for grins, right? Just right here. Just a tiny, tiny bit rosier than the uh, bronzer but I'm not gonna overdo it. That's plenty. Up next, L'Oreal Shimmerista in number 506. It's a bit of a rose gold type of a highlighter, and this can go right on top of your blush if you're looking for a little bit of a goldish sparkle. A little bit on the chin, left over on the forehead, the nose. Just a really nice kind of a highlight color. Again, that's completely optional. If you like to do the gold thing, go for it. If you don't, you can bypass this step, do a little bit of a um, highlighter in a matte color. So up to you. Okay, so we are practically done. Moving on to the lips. Where is my lip liner? Where'd you go? Where did you go? Hold up. Aha, we're still in the bag. This one is by Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in number 115, totally toffee. Totally rad, y'all. Cool thing about this, self-sharpening lip liner as well. And then I just take my finger and I just soften to make it a little bit more of a smudge. My lipstick du jour is, is it? Nope is number 144, ah, oh, dang it y'all, by Maybelline. Number 144, Naked Dare. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, iridescence on top of that, cause uh, yeah, that's how I roll. Mm -hmm. Cover Girl, number 015, but a pretty sort of goldish pink. Okay, let's back up, see what we got. Okay, all pulled together. Pretty good, I think, color-wise. I got lucky. Like I said, it's such a roll of the dice in the drugstore because you can't try on foundation. But all in all, I think everything blended really well. That's why it's nice to always have a bronzer or something that you can add a little bit of warmth to the foundation if you need to. And oh, by the way, that little highlight powder that I added on the cheeks, you can also pop just a little bit of that right here on your collarbone for a little glow as well, and a kick, and even on the shoulder. So all kinds of things that you can do with these, these types of products, but uh, many uses. You can even add it right underneath your eyebrow if you like. But I hope this tutorial helped you realize that there are so many great makeup options available to you at your drugstore at a really affordable price point. I am the queen of mixing and matching. I have higher end product, I have lower end product, and I use them in tandem. You don't have to spend a fortune to have a really nice overall look. I just think that you know, for summer and for lighter wear, 
why why spend all the money when when you can have this stuff available at you know 15 bucks and under a lot of it under 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 so give me a thumbs up if you found this to be helpful please lay out what else i could possibly help you with during these times i really want to keep things budget friendly and mindful of price point i think that's very important everybody's looking for ways to save follow me on social media Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you're notified every time a video is released Thursday at 1 p.m. With your full face of drugstore makeup and beauty, go out, be bold, and be blessed this week. Thanks for being with me. Muchas gracias.